a reading from the book of Genesis. The Lord appeared to Abraham by the terebinth of Mamre. As Abraham sat in the entrance of his tent, while the day was growing hot, looking up, he saw three men standing nearby. When he saw them, he ran from the entrance of the tent to greet them. And bowing to the ground, he said, Sir, if I may ask you this favor, please do not go on past your servant. Let some water be brought, that you may bathe your feet, and then rest yourselves under the tree. Now that you have come this close to your servant, let me bring you a little food, that you may refresh yourselves, and afterward you may go on your way. The men replied, Very well, do as you have said. Abraham hastened into the tent and told Sarah, Quick, three measures of fine flour, knead it and make rolls. He ran to the herd, picked out a tender, choice steer, and gave it to a servant, who quickly prepared it. Then Abraham got some curds and milk, as well as the steer that had been prepared, and set these before them, and he waited on them under the tree while they ate. They asked him, Where is your wife Sarah? He replied, They're in the tent. One of them said, I will surely return to you about this time next year, and Sarah will then have a son. Sarah was listening at the entrance of the tent, just behind him. Now Abraham and Sarah were old, advanced in years, and Sarah had stopped having her womanly periods. So Sarah laughed to herself and said, Now that I am so withered and my husband is so old, am I still to have sexual pleasure? But the Lord said to Abraham, Why did Sarah laugh and say, Shall I really bear a child? Old as I am, is anything too marvelous for the Lord to do? At the appointed time, about this time next year, I will return to you, and Sarah will have a son. Because she was afraid, Sarah dissembled, saying, I didn't laugh. But he replied, Yes you did. This is the word of God. Thanks be to God. A reading from the Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus entered Capernaum, a centurion approached him and appealed to him, saying, Lord, my servant is lying at home paralyzed, suffering dreadfully. He said to him, I will come and cure him. The centurion said in reply, Lord, I am not worthy to have you enter under my roof. Only say the word and my servant will be healed. For I too am a man subject to authority, with soldiers subject to me. And I say to one, Go. And he goes, and to another, come here, and he comes, and to my slave, do this, and he does it. When Jesus heard this, he was amazed and said to those following him, Amen. I say to you, in no one in Israel have I found such faith. I say to you, Many will come from the east and the west, and will recline with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob at the banquet in the kingdom of heaven. But the children of the kingdom will be driven out into the outer darkness, 
where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. And Jesus said to the centurion, You may go, as you have believed. Let it be done for you. And at that very hour his servant was healed. Jesus entered the house of Peter, and saw his mother-in-law lying in bed with a fever. He touched her hand. The fever left her, and she rose and waited on him. When it was evening, they brought him many who were possessed by demons, and he drove out the spirits by a word and cured all the sick, to fulfill what had been said by Isaiah the prophet. He took away our infirmities and bore our diseases. The Gospel of the Lord Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.